first you grind your coffee. You want to make sure that it's very well fined and ground up. You want to get 16 ounces of water, which is two cups. And you want to add these two cups of water into this pot. Along with your coffee grinds, which is right here. I turns the grinder upside down where the coffee grinds will become will come into this cap and not into and out of the grinder. And I pour that into the into the water. As well as whatever is left into the grinder, I just go ahead and shake it into there too. Good to the last drop. You want to turn your burner on. Wrong burner. You want to turn on your burner and you want to have it low light. As a matter of fact, until it starts boiling, which is going to take a minute because that water is cold. I'll be back once it starts. Okay, the water is boiling. It's got about maybe two more minutes before it's done. So we're going to give it two more minutes and I'll be back with what the next steps will be. Okay, my next step would be to take the coffee and strain it into this um, this pitcher right here. The reason why I'm straining it is to make sure that all the coffee grinds was in there. Those big hunky things will not um, clog up the tubing that goes to the coffee enema bucket. So I will be straining it that way. I don't know if I could hold this and do it because, let me see. I don't think, because I don't want to play around with it. Let me see if I do it this way. I can hold it like this. I don't think it's going to let me do it, guys. I will try it. Not then I'll just have to come back. And you just want to pour it slowly. Because I don't want any of the big hunks to go inside of the bucket. You want to try to pour all the water inside of there. I know you can't hardly see. Um, so yeah. As you can see, the coffee grinds are still in there. That's how you want it. Because you don't want all of that inside of your coffee mix. Okay, so after that, then I will just tap a little bit here to get, as you can see, these are the big hunky pieces that would have been falling inside of there and you don't need that. Now I'm just going to take this warm, lukewarm cup of water and it's going to pour it inside of this thing. This will allow it to cool off a bit and then I will be ready. I will try to come back with the next step. Okay, I do want to add that the time is very, very important because you want to do all your coffee enemas before 8 o'clock p.m. I don't know what, right now I don't know why, but I just know you're supposed to do it before 8. So it is 519 now, so hopefully within about the 6 o'clock hour, that's what I will be doing and I will be done. Okay, I'm using this night light right here because if I turn on the bathroom light, it has that exhaust fan, so you probably wouldn't hear what I'm saying. But I just brought this up here in the bathroom where um, I have tied my um, bucket right there on the shower rack. Right now, that's what I have to use to put the bucket where it needs to go in order for the hose to be long enough to do what it needs to do. So I just got this up here cooling off. And once it's cool off enough, then I will pour it into that bucket and then the rest should be history. I will try to jot down the rest of it in the description box <laughs> of the video. But uh, yeah, try a coffee enema. I promise you, you will be glad that you did. It's a great way of cleaning out your liver, cleaning out your intestines. So yeah, give it a try. Make sure you get the organic coffee. 
Um, yeah, so I will try to link things in the information box as much as I possibly can. So, I'll be back later. Okay, so while that is cooling off, I gathered up all these old blankets and towels in which I will put down on the bathroom floor. That way if anything leaks, it will leak on the towels and not on the floor and all that good stuff. So that's what I'm going to do next. I know that you still can't see and it might be a little hard, but just make sure that when you do, when you do this, you want to make sure that you use dark towels and everything because coffee do leave stains. And just make sure it's old stuff as well as don't forget your knees. If you're not using any type of knee pads, you want to make sure that you have something where you can put your knees on and your knees won't be aching. Okay, y'all. This is how mine look. You pretty much make yourself like a little bed pallet on the floor. And I don't know if you could probably hear me, but this is my bucket. This is what I'm going to pour the coffee into. And this is the little stem that goes to it. And I just have it hanging right here on the bat, on the shower rack until I can get me a righteous hook or something at least about this long to hang this on. So that will do for now. Um, but yeah, that's really it. Here's my coffee mixture. I'm waiting to it cool off. Um, it's still a little too hot, so I'm just going to wait. Okay, since filming the video, I did upgrade my hook. I went to Dollar General and I purchased this hook right here for a dollar. This is one of the hooks that I was looking for that would be great but even though the main one that I was really looking for is like it, sh it looked just like this but it's shaped like an S and which I probably will upgrade to that one later on but I was able to get this one for a dollar and it holds the bucket just fine when I pours my coffee into there and it's just perfect so check your Dollar Tree I mean not Dollar Tree Dollar General and see if they got these hooks like this um, here is the little tag that's on it. This is what it looked like and this is what it's called. It says true living belt and accessory hook. I did go back and I did get another one of these hooks for my closet for my belts and accessories. So I was wanted to add that part in there. And yeah, so any other information, it will be in the description box about the coffee enemas. And if you guys was to try these coffee enemas out, um, please leave a message in the comment section. I would like to know what your experiences was. Did you find it helping you or whatever? Please do your research. Don't just go word for word with what someone else says. There's plenty of uh, doctors online, you can um, just Google um, coffee enemas and it will give you the information that you need. Okay, so yeah. So until the next, I hope that this is helpful. Wish you all a good one. Bye.